Let's kick things off with a remarkable find, the 1967 Elizabeth II 50 cents coin from Canada. This elusive error coin, double struck and rotated in color during the strike, stands as a testament to the craftsmanship of its era. As a commemorative piece for Canada's Confederation Centennial, it holds significant historical value. Crafted from 0.3 outs of silver, its bold toning adds to its allure. Recently, it fetched a remarkable $576 at Heritage Auctions in March 2024. Next up, we have the exquisite 2021 Elizabeth II Silver Proof Britannia with Lion 1,000 pounds coin from Great Britain. A true marvel in the world of bullion coins, this majestic piece weighs a substantial two kilos and was struck by the esteemed Royal Mint. Accompanied by its original case and COA Mer 036, it's a rare gem indeed, with only two examples certified by NGC, both boasting the coveted top pop grade. This stunning piece commanded a price of $4,300 at auction in March 2024. Now let's turn our attention to the 1972 Elizabeth II $10 coin from Jamaica. Graded a remarkable mint state 67 by PCGS, this coin commemorates Jamaica's 10th anniversary of independence from the Federation of the West Indies. Uh, its superb craftsmanship is evident in the intricate details, with a radiant silver center that fades into hues of lilac and mossy green along the edges. Despite its undeniable beauty and historical significance, this gem sold for a surprisingly modest $120. Our next stop takes us to Australia, where we encounter the majestic 2012 P. Elizabeth II Gold $200 coin. This proof coin, graded as PR69 Ultra Cameo by NGC, holds within it two aughts of pure gold. Uh, struck to honor the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II, its intricate design features a small diamond nestled at the heart of the sun rays on the obverse. With its mesmerizing reflective surfaces and frosted devices gleaming like satin in the light, it commanded a noteworthy $4,300 at Stack's Bowers auction. Venturing back in time, we arrive at the year 1955 in Canada, where we discover the exquisite Elizabeth II 50 cents coin. This proof-like gem minted by the Ottawa Mint exudes elegance with its frosty white appearance and deep watery fields. With only two examples found in the PCGS census, according to Stax Bowers, its rarity is unquestionable. This stunning piece exchanged hands for $240, a testament to its allure and historical significance. Our journey brings us to another gem from the Canadian collection, the 1963 Elizabeth II dollar coin. This specimen, graded in mint state 65, boasts captivating tones of iridescence and a lustrous satin finish that sets it apart from the rest. Despite its undeniable beauty, this striking exemplar of the date was acquired for a modest $192, a true testament to its collector appeal. As our exploration continues, we stumble upon an intriguing find, the 1969 Elizabeth II 25 cents coin from Canada. This coin bears a unique obverse struck through error, DAF graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. In the realm of numismatics, such errors add an extra layer of fascination, occurring when foreign objects become trapped between the dies during the minting process. Despite its seemingly unremarkable appearance, this flawed yet fascinating piece found a new home for $80 at Stax Bowers Auction. Presenting the illustrious 1976 Elizabeth II $100 coin from Canada, struck by the esteemed Ottawa Mint. This golden coin commemorates the Zets 1 Olympiad held in Montreal, radiating with a glistening brilliance that captivates the eye. With an actual gold weight of 0.25 aughts, this exquisite gem fetched a price of $528. Next, we have the esteemed 1989 Elizabeth II Isle of Man Platinum Crown from Surrey, Pobjoy. Graded as Mint State 67 by NGC, this coveted coin hails from the feline series, showcasing a majestic Persian cat on its reverse side. A dazzling, superb gem, it boasts clear, proof-like mirrored fields and fully frosted designs. This stunning piece commanded a notable $12,000 at Stax Bowers Auction. And now behold the timeless beauty of the 1953 Elizabeth II crown from Southern Rhodesia. Graded as Mint State 65 by PCGS, this silver gem features the first uncrowned portrait of a young Queen Elizabeth II. Its reverse design depicts the bust of Cecil John Rhodes, the Prime Minister of the Cape Colony, 
encircled by three shields representing northern Rhodesia, southern Rhodesia, and Nyasaland, flanked by wreaths wrapped in banners. Despite its historical significance and undeniable charm, this silver treasure found a new owner for $105. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. Leave a comment below to share your thoughts, and be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.